the ending to Coffer's poem, excuse me, the ending to her essay, is in a poem that she has written. And this ending is a powerful one that only someone like Coffer, who is both a poet and an essayist, could pull off. This poem not only gives finality to the argument, it actually reflects back on all of the points that Coffer has made without simply restating or reiterating them. And it does so in a way that makes the reader pause and think and reflect and perhaps feel emotion. So I'm going to go ahead and read this final paragraph, which moves seamlessly from the paragraph above it. And even though it's very brief, these two sort of work together as a conclusion that wraps up and, and reflects on the essay. But this final bit is the real kicker. I once wrote a poem in which I called us Latinas, God's Brown Daughters. This poem is really a prayer of sorts, offered upward, but also through the human to human channel of art, outward. It is a prayer for communication, for respect. In it, Latin women pray in Spanish to an Anglo God with a Jewish heritage, and they are fervently hoping that if not omnipotent, at least he be bilingual. Ending with the line to that poem makes the reader think. First, the imagery here evokes a lot of different ideas, particularly about the Latina Catholic life that she has been describing, and then also embodying her work as a poet, which is where this essay led, where it was arguing that as a poet, she was negotiating all these different identities together to create her art. It looks at, as she says, communication and respect, which is what she's been arguing for, but it looks at it in a way that is spiritual, transcendental, and in a few short lines, in just a few words actually, reflects the complexity of everything she has been talking about, which is uh, beginning with her relationship with Catholicism a religion that has its basis in Rome, but is deeply integrated into her Latina culture. With the historic origins of that religion, which has traveled across the Atlantic and become part of her life as well. And that this bilingualism, just something that has defined her life and shaped her life, is perhaps not something she has seen in church. And that reflects a, a Western uh, Anglo-European hierarchy that, that clashes with her experience as a Latina woman and a Catholic believer. So, how does this relate back to the beginning? How does this sum up Beyond summing up the argument, is there a certain resonance or perhaps a dissonance between her poignant poem that she has written about herself and her experiences and her reflection on her community and the lines from a musical that somebody else projects onto her? Because if we think about it, the lines in a, a song are essentially poetry set to sound. And Maria and, and all of the, the cultural stereotypes and associations there are dramatically different than this deep reflective moment that we get here in this poem. But both of them tie into this idea of a, a transcendental or a larger than life idea about culture and about people and the way that we as individuals are negotiating that in our everyday lives and in our societies. Finally, how does it affect you? How does ending with a poem which demands analysis 
work as an ending because an ending we're not supposed to introduce new new material but this material is although the lines to the poem are something fresh they're not new because they relate back to those ideas of communication and respect and art of being a poet which are the the center of her message in the 14 preceding paragraphs so this is an essay that works and leaves the reader thinking which is exactly what you want that that final kick in your essay to do they may forget the points in your body paragraphs but if you leave them with a bang then they're going to walk out thinking differently <laughs>